Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 as Mexico. Right. We have to do something about this. Uh, we're kind of in a little bit of a bind right now. Our nuclear weapons could certainly win the day against many of our foes, but we're having some issues in actually, you know, using them because if we check against Northern France, I mean, it doesn't say right now, but if you actually mouse over them and be like, look, they have almost 20,000 fighters. That is a stupid amount. I mean, quite frankly, it doesn't get any more stupid. They've got 3,500 here. I've got 300. Just for comparison. Uh, what we could do is we could nuke, uh, like, Argentina, Chile, try and get them to, like, concede. But even then, we're going to need to actually take, you know, stuff off of them. And to do that, we're going to need to break through the lines. And to break through the lines up here... Well, it's just not going to happen. We need to actually beat, you know, these units, which a lot of them are from Europe. Uh, I I don't want to move forward. If I move forward, they'll be fighting and that will lose us manpower. And we can't afford to lose manpower because that's our manpower. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the MPs and remove a cavalry unit. There we go. We just made 150 manpower. In exchange for weakening our ability to, like, uh, police the lands we've taken. So, yeah, not not great. Uh, quite frankly, not great at all. But it's it's the best of a few different terrible, terrible worlds. Uh, we also need to build more fighters to be able to take on the air force over here. I really thought we could get a lot more momentum than we have. I really thought we could get more momentum. Mm. Oh, well. What if we can, like, nuke Rome? Do a surprise nuke of Rome? Probably not. Uh, we'll look at that in a second. Firstly, we're building some mechanized units. We are uh, pretty far away from having them actually ready. Modern armor is being built. And we're also building some infantry. And that's it. I don't think we're going to be doing anything more after that. Uh, over here, we want to get some more modern tanks going. Jet fighters. We could do a few more jet fighters being built. Uh, there are so many jet fighters being built right now, I know. It's just because we need a very large amount. Uh, quite frankly, uh, you could describe the amount of we, like fighters we need as stupid. You could say we need a stupid amount. And you wouldn't entirely be wrong. So I'm just shifting some units around. And we still need a few more for that jet fighter. I mean, it's probably fine for now, but we'll leave it as it is. Right. Let's play, like, a little bit of time, and let's see what the state... Ooh, hello. Yeah, there's, like, five and a half thousand fighters up there in Italy. Now. Yugoslavia. Technically, they're a major power. Uh, I found out where the major, power thing, uh, the major power checklist is, by the way. Someone tweeted it to me. And I, you know, I remember now looking at it going, ah, that's how you find out what the major powers are. Because we don't need to defeat all these people, we just need to defeat the major powers. Which are... France, Yugoslavia, and Republic of Italy. We've defeated Germany, even though they're still there. Uh, look how much we're outnumbered. It's ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, we need to beat France, Yugoslavia, and Republic of Italy. Bam, bam, bam. Well, you've both got fighters up. Yugoslavia, on the other hand, does not have fighters up covering it. By the way, that's actually... That's bad UI design, uh, because you shouldn't have to go to another country to find out about a different country. If we were to put down... Let's just say one strategic bomb for the moment. This is a strategic bomb mark three. That's a strategic bomb mark one. Where's my jet strategic bombers? Jet strategic bomb mark one. We did get, like, Strategic Bomber Mark 1. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. I thought that was a Mark 2, and I'm just like, no, I'm going crazy. There's only one type of Strategic Bomber. Uh, no, I don't have to move all. Can I... I always do that wrong. Move 1. Then, set to 1. Um, okay. And then if we get... Shift to move 100. Now, we'll see if we can actually reach the Balkans from here. Because if we can, we can start nuking the Balkans. 
If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We can nuke southern France, but, you know, there's not a lot to nuke there. Now, we're just going to hold the line for the time being, even though we are losing manpower quite... quite dramatically. They aren't making any ground on us. When are you going to be here? Uh, tomorrow. Okay. Oh, hello. We're losing that. Oh, they took to Dunkirk back. Ooh, that's not good. It's not terrible. It's just kind of... Eh. Okay, how are we doing over here? Naval fight going on. Um, I think they're going to win that. Alright, can I get you over the Western Bulk? Yes, I can! Right. Belgrade. Nuke. Five victory points. One victory point. Three. Three. One. Those are terrible. I'll take the five, I guess. Nuking time! 59% national unity. Okay. Oh. 4,000 fighters. Loads of fighters. Loads of fighters. Switch to some threats. Right. Bordeaux. Toulouse is five. One, one, ten. Five, one, one, ten. Lyon. Is there anything else? La Rochelle. Five. No. Lyon is. Start the nuking. Let the nuking commence! Seriously, let the nuking... There we go. Oh, you know, we'll leave them up there. Why not? We might move the fighters to deal with it. I doubt they will. Yeah, we've lost uh, quite a lot of troops already. Manpower is dipping quite hard. Right. Poland. I'm going to improve relations with you. Have you still not beaten Russia yet? Look, Moscow is you seriously so close. Ah, oh, Come on, do it. Do it. If you do it, you actually might fight me. I, d I don't want that to happen. If you fight, like, Yugoslavia, I'll be happy. Should, like, start a coup? Can we boost the popularity of the fascists? Yeah, let's do that. Maybe making you fascists will help. I'm not sure, but there's not much to lose. Why are you coming to Dunkirk? You're getting on ships! You must be getting on ships. Which means you're transporting people around. Ooh. And the fight's still going down. I mean, we've sunk a lot more of their stuff than they have of ours, so... It's a reasonable outcome so far. How's the channel doing? Yeah, our naval bombs have got, like, absolutely trounced so far. Right, those fighters have all been destroyed. Uh, let's, honestly, let's just get 500 to begin with, and we'll take the channel back.
One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then... You're unassigned. You're in charge. And then you go up in the channel. Defend those naval bombers. Now, we should probably start making submarines or something to just, like, patrol the channel. I mean, we're doing okay as we are, but we could do with the submarines. It's going to be a very, like, close game of watching this line, checking if they try and push, because if they push, we'll lose a lot of manpower. We've lost 100k already this episode, and we're only 10 minutes in. We cannot keep up that rate of attrition. But I'm not sure what we can do about it. Dropped a number of... They've put some, like, fighters down here. They've put, like, 188 to face off our 100. So, in general, I feel okay-ish about that. But we need to be able to get a grip on Northern France. Why are we not, like... Dominating the air here yet. Oh, you're still deploying. I thought you'd got that by now. Ah, oh, we're on two times speed. That's why. Good four times speed. There we go. We're starting to have an impact. Slow impact. It's not the bombs we're going for specifically. It's always best to go for the fighters first in nearly every circumstance. It's always best in nearly every circumstance. It's a bit of a contradiction there. You got what I mean, though. And we managed to drive them away. Now, I'm perfectly happy to have them just sitting there. Off to the side. Right, how did that fight go? Yeah, we thrashed them. Utterly thrashed them. And that's what we needed. What about over here? Yes, although the carry might get away. Yeah, carry got away. Manpower still dive bombing. Can't afford that. Yeah, they've shifted their number of fighters up quite considerably now. Uh, I think it's best for us to um, back out. Now, if we're going to dump like so many planes over here that they can't uh, field their stupid amount of their own fighters. We're probably going to need more air airports. Aerodromes? Aerodromes. Air bases. Air bases, that's what it's called. So we're going to need that. You're doing good over here. You're, well, pretty iffy. Um, let's also get some land forts. Basically, anywhere that they're hitting us, I kind of want a land fort. Because we might be holding out here for a little while. <laughs> Look at that just shoals of fighters. So many of them. Okay. We're fine up here as we are for the moment, but uh, the manpower is the issue. There's nothing else we can really do sneaky, because they've got fighters up everywhere, so it's just a case of trying to hold on for now. When we get our reinforcements, we should be in a lot better position. But they're going to take time. Like, we're looking at September, if we're lucky. What about you? January. And that's if we have the equipment. And we're still short massively on tanks. I think we're under on tanks by like 2k something. Yeah. 
How are we doing for tanks now? 2.1k. So until we get this new force, I kind of think we're in a bit of a stalemate here. I don't think there's much we can do. It's a waiting game. How are they doing? Let's check them out. Service by requirement. They've got they've got manpower left to burn. Germany doesn't. Yugoslavia, all out at serve. They're doing pretty well. Uh, Italy doesn't. But the big worrying one right now is France is fine. And that's what concerns me. And I'm not damaging any of the infrastructure and stuff because, well, they've got 20,000 fighters. 20,000 fighters! That number is just an insane number. We've got like 500 spare. Oh, hello. They're sending out their fight. Uh, their uh, submarines. Now, the alternative is we just pull back. We just go, you know, remove the entire army. You can have it. And then attack from a different angle. But I think that that would be letting Germany have too much. Hi, Turkey. Uh, let's improve relations with you. Uh, and with Iran. Yeah, sunk some of their stuff. Sunk some of their stuff. Sunk some of their stuff. Some stuff was sunk. Many things were sunk. Okay, many, many things were sunk. I've got the image. Right, what do we want to research now? Uh, I guess we could go for, like, more material, because that's what we need right now? I don't know. We've kind of finished most of the tech tree. What do you go for when you're, like, you know, you've got everything you want in life? Submarines. There we go. We go for submarines. We might vaguely possibly use those. Mm, got a couple of battleships and stuff. Yeah. Refit a little bit more and then we'll stop producing more uh, naval units. I think we've got to the point where we own the, the seas. Uh, I don't think there's anyone that can threaten us at all now. But I would like to just confirm that. Maybe we should do a nuclear raid on southern France. Because there's promises I haven't hit. And anything that has industry, you know, needs to be hit hard. Of course, you know, most of that's northern France. But we'll see. I mean, I haven't hit the mid-Pyrenees, which have got 15 slots. 10 slots in Limousine. Still. They've got 300 or something units. Maybe we should nuke them while I've got the chance. Yeah, we'll do a nuclear raid down here. We'll hit their capitals and stuff. Alright. Botch you. Botch you. Not botch, so bin. Alright, get ourselves 100 fighters over. Get ourselves one strategic bomber. Are they facing us in the channel? They are, actually. Because I remember that uh, our fighter ace person died. It's okay, we'll just put another one in. I'm sure, I was thrilled about that. Oh, hello. Oh, they just put two uh, a thousand bombers in. That's why we had some massive flip there in who owned it. 
I mean, I don't mind killing off their bombers. I prefer to kill the fighters. I can do my own bombing, but sure. Uh, engineering, I guess we'll go for radar. Aha, yeah, because if we go for radar... Uh, radar, radar, radar. Yeah, I kind of got max radar down there anyway. And we should definitely build some radar over here. Yeah. Meanwhile... We're almost ready for happy fun nuke times. Come on. Oh, wait. There we go. Right. Wait for the F priority. Wait for the air superiority. Wait for the air superiority. Our strategic bomber got shot down. Wait for the air superiority. Still waiting for the air superiority. Okay, let's get more fighters down here. We're even throwing like an unassigned fighter race. Why not? They're not actively performing the mission. Why? Why are you not actively performing a mission? I literally have no idea what's going on here. Why are we not actively performing our mission? Easy kill killed. Oh no, that's, well, you know, you've got a name like that. Why are you not performing your mission? Maybe if I t only perform during daylight? No, they're not performing. They're literally ref refusing. I'm not sure why. Am I, am I doing something hilariously badly and obviously wrong? It all seems fine to me. I'm going to send some airplanes back to the reserves, because quite frankly, they're needed elsewhere. I can't, you know, waste time doing this. Why have I not got air superiority? Even when there is a storm, like, I still have mission efficiency going on. With air units in the region, we're not actively performing the missions currently. I don't know. Meanwhile, over here... I keep sending their bombers over, and we keep taking them down. Toad air artillery, because... we were, I remember why we are just doing that. It's just like, it exists, so we will do it. Oh, oh, hello. They're pushing all over the place. Also, we appear to be pushing. Why are we pushing? Tell me why we're pushing. We shouldn't be pushing. Yeah, they really are giving us a bit of a beating here. That's not allowed. I'm going to get half of these units and send them over here. Yeah, no, you're not allowed to push into my area. This is my area. Technically, it's actually under their air superiority control, though. Not much I can do about it. 
Oh, it looks like a big shift in how they're deploying their lines. This could be the time to look for an opening. Not that there will ever be an opening down here in France. Way too much defense for that. I don't know why we're attacking though in places. That is the one attack I will condone. I wish I could attack into that. It's only three units. But I don't have three units. I, don't, I have a one. And while my units are better, they're not that good. Nice pilot promoted. Lovely. Does that mean that this fighting is on? No. This fighting still hasn't happened. Force. You know what that'll do. Draw them into the gap. Yes. Yep, we took it. And now they're trying to attack us, which is fine, because it'll basically be sort of a waste of their manpower and stuff. That is a ridiculous shoal of fighters. Uh, that, those were all ours, actually. So read into that what you will. Uh, how's the channel doing? Channel's doing good. Now we've got control and put you on no retreat for the uh, naval bombers so they can take enemies out. But... Oh god, really? They've taken this back? Can you just not defend this? I was about to say that... Afghanistan has capitulated to the Soviet Union. Really? And the Democratic Union of the Soviet Union, the Democratic Union of Afghanistan now exists, or whatever. Democratic Republic. How does... Weren't they in the war with, like, Turkey, Iran, and Poland and that? Or did they just never join? Because otherwise you can't piece them out without piecing Poland out. I'm not sure how that happened. Not that it really matters. Though I now have a border with uh, the Soviet Union, which I'm going to have to be cautious about. Uh, let me improve relations. And uh, we're actually still boosting the popularity of fascism. We could, like, get them to have a civil war. But that might make Poland win. I don't want Poland to win. I want them to stay locked in a war. Hmm. Well, it's going to be uh, interesting. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, no, I really do not want you doing that. We need to repulse you. I mean, I repulse people anyway. It's just who I am. Uh, but we need to push them back because we cannot allow them to have access here because that will actually start to chop up our units. And I can't be using Luxembourg as a uh, flanking area right now. Uh, and I'm going to boost the party popularity of fascism in Luxembourg, just because they are one uh, territory state. And I don't want them going democratic. They're actually very nice at the moment as having a, basically a... What's it called? Uh, like a hold, a pin, a post for the end of your, like... Somewhere you can root a flank. I can't what it's called, for the life of me. But that's what it is. It's somewhere I can root my flank. Anyway... Uh, we're going to hold the episode there. I've been at Relisim. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. We do need to win this war quicker. And currently my plan just consists of making many, 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 many fighter planes. Problem is, it's going to take me a very long time to make 17,000. In fact, it's probably going to take me until January of next year to even make 5,000. Yeah, maybe six or seven. That's probably enough to start taking the enemy on. Our fighter planes are the best. But it's still somewhat troubling. Yeah, our Navy's still doing a good job, at least. For now, though, I've been Erosium. Like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon that indicates you actually want to see my videos. Until next time, stay shiny.